Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Local 23 joining me for Choices of the Stories You Play, Most Wanted, Diamond Edition, Chapter 11, Hot Pursuit! Now playing as Samantha Macy, you stand on the elegant ballroom floor of the gorgeous Beijing Theater. You know that somewhere nearby, John Tull is lurking, ready to kill. But right now... You're more focused on three people around you. Reyes? What the hell are you doing here? I think that's my line. Wait, you two know each other? You didn't tell me your partner would be here, Dave. Your... his partner? It would have been really nice for you to mention her before, you know? God, why is it every guy I'm into taken? What? No, 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 we're not that kind of partners. They're like Starskin Hutch, Riggs and Murdoch. Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum? I get it. I'd better be Channing Tatum. Can we drop the fan casting and answer the big questions? Namely, what the hell are you doing here, Macy? I'm hunting a killer... Chatting with Ryan. Oh, really? I I second that, oh, really? Guys, I'm still standing right here. Yes, really. After all, Reyes, there's no other reason why I'd be here, is there? No delicate situation involving our mutual friend? You mean me? Pretty sure she meant me. She doesn't mean either of you. A waltz starts playing. Couples converge on the dance floor. Dave cocks his head and extends his hand. Ahem. Uh, Deputy Macy, uh, may I have this dance? Why, of course, Detective Ray is. You take Dave's hand. The two of you step onto the dance floor amidst the other twirling couples. He gently places his hand on your lower back, and you move with the music as you whisper to each other. So, you're the one who gave Captain Beckham the tip about this place? Is that our game? A blowing me off and then giving you the lead? Well, you are off this case. Yeah, and right now, I'm just a private citizen who's enjoying a dance at a charity gala. Are we going to have a problem? In a gorgeous red dress, I might add. I'm still mad about the move you pulled at the trailer. But I'm not going to say no to some capable backup. Same. It just don't get in my way. The two of you turn. Dave spins you in a gentle twirl. You eye the room closely as you go, looking for any sign of Tull. As long as you keep cool and don't tip our hand, works for me. And I have to say, you look, uh, well, uh, stunning. Dave raises a hand, and you twirl to the triple-time beat. Thanks. What do I say? You're looking pretty handsome yourself, or you were just dying for an excuse to wear a tux. <sighs> you look pretty handsome yourself. One of the few perks of having friends in high places. They hook you up with excellent tailors. I agree! <laughs> The demo changes slightly, and Dave takes a step back, and you follow elegantly. At least if you have the diamonds to purchase it, once we fancy. So, we think Tull's going to be here, and he's trying to take out another one of his targets. That's a working theory, yeah, but I can't figure out is how he plans to get in. This isn't some random party. A guy like Tull just can't walk on in. Something tells me that sneaky bastard's going to find a way. Dave takes a small step forward, and you do too. Step on. Dave's foot, Dave's foot, the floor, Dave's foot. Oh my god, Dave's foot! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you gracefully match Dave's movements, and you can see the smiles of some of the other couples around you. Where'd you learn to dance, Macy? My grandpa taught me how when I was a little girl. That at and how to ride horses and skin varmints. How about you? 
did you do a little side job for one of the big shots on dancing with the stars and exchange he taught you some moves? Normally, I'd crack a joke, but yeah, that's exactly what happened. How about we focus on the big question of the night? Tall's target. Exactly. What have you got? We know he's obsessed with Haley. We know he's going after people who hurt her. Problem is, if we're narrowing it down to Haley's enemies, there still leaves half this damn room. You and Dave twirl. You scan the crowd. You see Cassandra idly chatting with the director. Well, sure, she's a nightmare on set, but what can I say? Her name's going to draw in the teens. Ryan, watching you with a drink in his hand and a smile on his face. Cheers. Alyssa in the corner whispering into Haley's agent, Jamie Brooks. Really? Really? I've got one hunch, Reyes. I think the target is... Okay, so no, it's not Ryan. It's not Dave. It's not Cassandra. So we're down to... Um... Okay, so if you think about it, Haley's agent is out to replace her and make her the next Haley Rose, right? Then we have Alyssa who's going to replace her. Ooh, this one's a tough one. Um, and then Alyssa also didn't have some kind words f about Haley either. I'm gonna go with Alyssa. I'm gonna go with Alyssa. Why Alyssa? She's a rising starlet who's making a splash right as Haley is getting into the acting scene. She's direct competition. True, but if Tall was gonna kill every actress competing with Haley, he'd have to wipe out half of Hollywood. Tall's targets aren't just random competitors. He's going after very specific individuals who pose a real threat to Haley's career. But now that you mention it, there is something funny going on here. As far as I know, Haley is Jamie's number one client, and she demands he represent her exclusively. So why is he over there talking to Alyssa? Aha! She was telling me earlier that she's been having a conversation with some new agent. Someone who promised to make her the next Haley Rose, which is exactly what I was pointing to. Son of a bitch! Jamie just put a bullseye on his back! The waltz ends. You and Dave cross the floor to Jamie and Alyssa. At the sight of you, Jamie pales. Jamie Brooks, got a moment to talk? Oh! Marshall Macy, of course! Uh, what's all this about? It's about your client, Haley Rose. We have a reason to believe that you... Before you can finish, Jamie whips his hand up and throws his cocktail glass at your head. Um... Okay, <laughs> that escalated quickly! Catch it? Freeze! I think that's a new option. I've never seen that before. With train reflexes, you snatch the glass right out of the air. Try again. Jamie stares, stunned, then bolts the other way. Brooks, stop! Jamie scrambles across the gala floor, slamming aside one of the guests after another as he barrels towards the exit. Get back here, you idiot! You and Dave race after him, leaping over falling gas and pushing through the crowd. By the time you get to the end of the room, he's already rushed out an emergency exit and blocked it behind him. Have I told you before I hate this town? Because I hate this town. No one runs like that just because the cops want to talk. Jamie must have done something pretty damn bad. Come on, we can cut him off at the front. You and Dave rush back the other way, bursting out the front doors. Ryan, do you have any idea what just happened? <laughs> Not even a little. You burst out of the gala with Dave onto the red carpet, just as Jamie blasts by in his glistening luxury car. Leave me alone! Damn, that's right, it's fast. You look around. Parked way down the street is Dave's cruiser. 
But next to you, a valet is parking a beautiful, exotic, luxury car. Yes, please! Oh! Oh! Yes, please. You sprint over the valet, flashing your badge. U.S. Marshal, I'm commandeering this vehicle. The startled valet tosses you the keys. You slide across the vehicle's hood and hop into the driver's seat. Dave climbs in after you. You do this a lot? Let's just say this ain't my first radio. You slam on the gas with a roar that rumbles the entire street. The sports car blasts off. You commandeer an exotic luxury car. Woo! As you fly down the boulevard, cameras flash and people stare. Oh, we are definitely making the evening news. You streak down the road after Jamie. He weaves recklessly around cars, nearly clipping an SUV with a family inside. We need to get him off the streets before he hurts someone. I'm on it. You gun at Jamie's fast and dangerous, but his luxury car is no match for your growling white beast. Gotcha. You accelerate, pulling up right behind him. No, 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 no! What do I do? Show him your gun! Accelerate past him! Okay, so these are new options! Um, whereas typically before you would flash your lights and then you would begin a left, right, right dodge, you know... Um, accelerate past him. You speed up until your car is parallel with Jamie's. Then zip in front of him, cutting him off. Oh, God! You swerve to the side in a panic, losing control of a car. He screams inside as the car spirals off the road, clips a fire hydrant, and, with a deafening crash, flips over onto its roof. The night is quiet. Jamie lies there hanging upside down the driver's seat by his seatbelt. Surrounded by shards of broken glass and twisted metal. Ugh. Ugh. Good driving, Macy. Thanks. You know where you want to go question our perp? My pleasure. Now playing as Dave Reyes, you hop out of the car and approach Jamie's upended vehicle. He rises in his seat as you approach, but he's locked inside the wreck. Get away from me! What the hell is wrong with you, Jamie? We're trying to help you. I'm not falling for your tricks. You just want me to incriminate myself. Well, I'm not saying anything. Anything! I get the feeling Jamie's hiding something. Something big. But I've only got a few minutes to get him to talk before he has a sense to lawyer up. You shoot Sam a wink. She nods, playing along. We already know, Jamie. We know exactly what you did. You really think you could run away from your crime? Who told you? Was it Edgar? Did that rat banker sell me out? Oh yeah. You better believe it. Edgar might as well have handed you us to us on a platter. He told us about the internet piracy, embezzlement, murder. Well, I mean, he is a banker, so embezzlement. And why was the image flipped? It was interesting. Your banker gave us all of your financial info. We know you've been skimming off the top from your clients. Damn it! I knew I shouldn't have trusted him! Real classy, Jamie. Okay, like, it, it, you're so high and mighty, so I pocketed a little extra for myself. Like, I didn't deserve it? I invented Haley Rose. I created her. Before me, she was nothing. Just some dirty runaway with nothing but a bus ticket in her pocket. And I turned her into the biggest damn music sensation in the country. She found out, didn't she? She suspected you were skimming, and she was going to fire you. That's why you're recording Alyssa Griffin. I did what I had to do. I deserved it. Yeah. Well, given the path of destruction that you just cut through the city, the only thing you deserve right now is five to ten years. Now, why don't you get out of the car and... Your voice trails off as you hear something coming from underside of Jamie's car. Beep. 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 Oh, shit. What's wrong? 
You point to it, a small gray square ta taped to the bottom of the car, attached to an electronic panel with a timing ticking down. You gotta be kidding me. A bomb? I thought shotguns were Tall's thing! Damn it, he's improvising. Must have seen that the police were up their coverage of the gala. Wait, wait, b bomb! B wh wh what bomb? There, on the undercarriage, plastic explosive, a solid brick. We've got 30 seconds. What? Tall must have triggered the timer remotely. He was probably waiting outside and hadn't planned on Jamie booking it so fast. What the hell are you talking about? G get me out of here! He rises and thrashes upside down in the seat, but the belt's holding him too tight. Macy, clear the scene. Get all these bystanders as far from here as you can. On it, but what are you gonna do? You turn back to the car and... What do I do? Pull Jamie out, defuse the bomb. You rush over to the car and climb onto its frame, hunkering down over the bomb. Reyes? What the hell are you doing? Just clear the scene. You brush the sweat out of your eyes with the backs of your hands and stare at the bombs of multicolored wires. Piece of cake, you've done this before. You can do this, Reyes. You pull the red wire, the blue wire. Here goes nothing. You pull the green wire and the lights on the panel go dim. Whew. Hey! Little help here! You climb down to find Jamie still trapped in the wreckage. Dropping low, you crawl through the shattered windshield, scraping your side against the broken glass as you reach to pull him free. The things I do for this job! A few minutes later, you and Sam stand to the side of the car. A dozen more cops, including a bomb squad, have shown up to deal with the scene. Okay, you're gonna have to tell me where you learned to disarm a bomb. <laughs> long story. Very, very long story. Officer McKenzie walks by you, pushing along Jamie Brooks, his hands cuffed behind his back. Move it, mister. You gotta listen to me! This was all a misunderstanding! You can't lock me away! I'm I'm too delicate for jail! You and Sam watch Mackenzie stuff Jamie into the back of a squad car and drive off. An awkward silence falls over both of you. You could have been blown into many, many pieces there, Jamie. I mean, seriously, dude? You should be glad you're alive and can go out and swindle in 5 to 10. Well, look at that. We saved our target's life and put a scumbag behind bars. I hate to admit it, Reyes, but I think we make a pretty good team. You know what, Macy? I think you're right. You smile at each other, but Sam's smile fades as she sees something over your shoulder. You turn to see another unmarked police car pulling up. Captain Beckham steps out. She stares daggers at Sam. This can't be good. You know, technically, she prevented, or you all prevented a uh, guy from dying, a pl complete havoc and disaster, and tons of other shit. So, you know what? Um, I'm going to have to ask you, ba Beckham. Um, basically, Sam was just there at the gala with a friend. She wasn't doing anything. And, um, you know, she began to assist you with a criminal who was, uh, you know, had a bomb on the bottom of his car. You know, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, you know, you know, we're just, it was just a perfect time, perfect coincidence, right, everyone? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So I hope you all did enjoy the video. Remember to always like, comment, share, and subscribe, because if you're not already, you'll miss out on great future content, as well as current content, and maybe even past content. <laughs> We're also up to uh, almost 2,700 subscribers. You know, every every week I look at that number and it grows. And I'm like, you guys are awesome. 
And who knows, maybe people in a week will be watching this and it'll be up to 2,800 or something. This is just, it really, it, it really, just thank you. And I love doing content for the community and I love giving back um, with the Diamond Editions. And it's my way of giving back for you guys. Um, giving me your time and watching my, my stuff and whatnot. So thank you once again. And uh, without further ado, I hope you all stay well, stay awesome, and until next video, I'll catch you then. Peace out.